All right, we're gonna jump into zero duplex now for real. Um, and that means that um, I am going to start by um, looking at Jeev assets. Jeev Assets, if you guys don't know what that is, um, it's a, um, a fantastic uh, Java application to help you um, uh, track your, your assets, your transactions, your profits and everything. Um, this is, if you're not using a your own spreadsheet or my spreadsheet, then this is the best alternative. Um, and uh, this is the uh, net worth graph of the Zero Duplex Challenge. So what are we doing in Zero Duplex? We're taking an account uh, completely from zero and taking it to um, uh, a point where it can flex itself right um, that's been going on for about three weeks um, we are now at uh, uh, just over 700 million isk um, and uh, just remember this is essentially what I'm doing right here uh, is the hardest mode you can trade in because I'm using an alpha account. Uh, that means each character is limited to 17 orders. Um, we're paying taxes out of the ass. Um, we're, we can't train skills like accounting, so we can't reduce any of the taxes or the broker fees. Um, slightly, the broker fees, but not really. Um, we can't remote uh, trade. We can't remote um, modify orders. So we, uh, we can remotely sell, but then we can't modify. Uh, and we can't remotely buy at all so we basically were sitting in perimeter and um and a shop in botane and we're just putting uh, uh buy orders in there and then every once in a while we're putting sell orders in uh, in the in the sell ups um <clears throat> and then i am doing it all on stream and every two days i'm telling you what item i'm making a lot of money on so you guys kill it so um so yeah um so i'm going to assume that this is the um this is probably the worst experience you can have in the zero to plex challenge. And if you guys actually try this for yourself and not tell everyone what you're doing, um, then I think you could easily beat this uh, and you could easily already be at a billion. But uh, point, uh, point is that it's, um, it's not difficult to take a fresh alpha account in three weeks from zero to 700 million and let's see how long it takes us to uh, to keep on going and uh, and plexing this account and then going on i don't know if i'm actually going to plex it but we'll, we'll definitely take it to the point where it could plex itself that's for sure um yeah uh, so ray play do you have a tutorial on how to do market trading um yeah and then immediately my my mod uh my the the auto mod gave you that guide so uh, that that is working well so all you have to do is click on that guide and you're set then <laughs> um so yeah this is uh this is us 700 million not too bad not too shabby um we have a, a out of that we have about um 91 million in cash so we can do some investments um and um if we uh, if we look at which um, trade hubs this uh, profit comes from, then out of the 700 million, um, about 270 million come from Jita. Uh, about 200 million come from Amar, and about 237 million come from Dodixi. So you can see that this approach that we're doing um, it works for pretty much every trade hub, right? So it doesn't really matter. You could be successful uh, in each of them. I think the only difference is that in Jita, you could actually be successful with three characters in Jita because there's enough markets there. And in the other two, I wouldn't put more than one character in there. Um, and just to um, just to uh, round off this discussion, somebody asked on the Discord, why do you create three characters on one account and not one, three accounts with one character on them because you can train the skills? And my answer to that is quite easy because you're comparing apples with oranges because nothing is keeping you from creating those three accounts and you know anyone can make as many accounts as they want uh, and have them uh, um, train up there is no price to train up alpha accounts to five million no price at all you can have as many as long as you you want to click around and do that every day you can you can do that right 
There's nothing against the, the it's not against the terms of uh, uh, of services. You you can't log on at any point in time, uh, but if you're not logging on at the same time, you can have ten accounts for sure. Uh, you can have as many accounts as you want to, um, uh, um, because it doesn't violate uh, uh, the 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 TOS. The only thing that violates the TOS is if you log into several alpha accounts at the same time using a VPN or something. You cannot do that. Um, so that's why, uh, to me, just thinking of the logistics and everything, it's w it's way less of a headache to just create one account, put three characters on them, put the three characters in 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 Dodixie, um, and yeah. I thought training multiple was no training. What what do you mean? Training multiple alpha accounts up is not is not uh, against the TS no. There's, you're sticking to whatever rules there. are. Um, so yeah, uh, that's why uh, it's 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 there's no need to uh, create three characters because um, it doesn't. The advantage that you speak of, you can have anyway. It has nothing to do with having uh, trade uh, trade characters. Um, so that's what we're looking at here in the background. <coughs> Running three account means you can pull the 1 million SP after four months three times. If you want six LSI, you could do that anyway, though, with as many accounts. Exactly. And that's my point, Shikok. And so it doesn't, this has nothing to do with this challenge. So if you want three accounts, just make three accounts. But you don't have to put a, a trade character in each of them. You don't gain anything from that in terms of trade, right? Um, and you actually slow down in logging out of accounts, which you're going to do a lot. Um... So, um, what, uh, what we do, obviously, uh, is uh, we track everything in this sheet right here. Um, so, what I have is um, a, uh, a track record of, during this challenge, how, many, uh, how much profit do we get from each of the, um, the items that we've invested in. And I left the sorting uh, as it was last time. So, you can see here that, for example, right now, um this week apparently tranquil exotic filaments have uh, gone through the roof uh that's fantastic um and so uh you can see that out of my top if you look at this is just the alpha challenge right out of the top uh what is this out of the top 10 account 10 items uh four of them are filaments uh you know uh, two tranquils an agitated and a fierce so you can see why i love trading in filaments because uh even on an alpha challenge, uh, even if you're looking for, uh, you know, 50 to 300% margins, filaments work really well. Um, running three account, uh, sorry, running more accounts, I can move ISK uh, between them, but moving items between them is hard. Mm, I don't really, I don't really get it, sorry. Put them in a corp and use corp wallet. Um, yeah, that's 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 what you can always do, right? You can create a corp, and if you want to share the hangar, I don't really think it's necessary. I I don't I like I I don't. If if you're just doing the alpha challenge, there's not really you're not really gaining that much. But sure, you can do that. <coughs> um. So. So Ray play right um i'm gonna have to call you out here because uh you're gonna have to join the discord and look at the faq channel man <laughs> you're asking the 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 questions that are uh, perfectly answered in the faq channel so i've linked it there um uh, iron milos yes uh, it has a launch group uh, you can launch groups for sure um and uh, yes you can download the sheet the sheet can be downloaded right here there's a link right here um but if they are on the same account you can only train one at a time more okay right or the noob all right dude i just finished like explaining this for like five minutes like where were you oh god okay that's okay okay ray how are you doing man you're good ray just read the faq um all right 
Um, so you can see here, filaments are um, are definitely a good place to start, even on an alpha challenge. Um, and uh, uh, let's uh, let's just jump into uh, into Jita and see what we're dealing with here. So uh, in Jita, we have 22 million isk um, in cash. Um, during the weekend, uh, we 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 gained a lot of net worth during the weekend because during the weekend uh, is when all of the um, when all of the uh, uh, uh orders uh, fulfill really like 80 percent of the orders fulfilled uh, during the week fulfill on the weekend so that's that's why i went in on friday and on saturday uh, and updated all the orders made sure that even all the sell orders were updated so uh, uh in between uh, we were able to do a whole flip of the entire inventory um so we can see here, I have 22 million in cash. Um, if we look at the orders, um, uh, you can see that most most of the orders have um, have fulfilled. Um, so we only have uh, uh, seven orders here. Uh, I am currently in perimeter. Uh, so from here, I can only update buy orders. So what I would definitely start with is just going through here and making sure that these buy orders are uh, are updated. I'm trading in uh, Shadow's Apprentice Heavy Electron Blaster here. Reason for that is, yes, it's uh, easy to buy and difficult to sell, but then again, the margins are ridiculous. So <laughs> for an alpha challenge, uh, I'm, I'm willing to take that gamble. I'm also trading in Corelli A-Type Explosive Coating. Um, I've got to update this to uh, 147.7. Uh, again, uh, why am I trading in this? I'm trading in this because the spread uh, of the dots is very nice. The median, um, uh, the median is uh, uh, a price every day is fluctuating between buy and sell orders, which means that trade is happening on both sides. It's trending up, and we can still get cheap buy orders. So this is for to me, this is a fantastic trade item. The only downside is we have a lot of competition going on. But as you can see from my uh, my buy orders here, I've, I have 17 out of 50 fulfilled. So this is it's moving. It's a great buy order, keeping it in there. The only thing that I might consider uh, that I didn't do now is canceling it and putting a new one in there so that I don't have to babysit it. Right? Um, that's that's an that's an often underlooked um, or overlooked um, uh, practice that saves you a lot of time. If you only have one, two, or three items left just take it out um uh just because it's gonna fulfill soon and then uh, uh you're gonna have no order out there and for the alpha challenge when when it's all about velocity 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 it's important to have an order out there so what you do is you cancel that order and you put a fresh order with a new 50 on there to make sure that you're participating in the market and that's uh, that's i think a lot of people are missing out uh, on that end you have to think of it. You have to think about it in the in the way as um, if if you anytime you don't have seventeen orders out there, you're losing money. That's 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 the way you have to think about it. If you log on and you have a lot of orders gone, you have to fulfill those orders. Either you sell stuff if you don't have money, or you buy stuff if you do have money. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys uh, discuss, I think, amongst yourself. Looks like Tore, what's up, dude? Um, Ray Play. Um, there is. Okay, I'll let Bonsai handle that. Thank you. Uh, Leo Sagan, uh, dropping the order to put a new one isn't that costly in terms of taxes it is on the sell side on the buy side it's only one percent right uh and uh um so you have to be aware of that one percent but i'm i am um if if you're looking at let's let's look at like the average let's look at the average growth profit margin right the average growth growth profit margin uh, is 88 percent on on this current challenge right so we're making 88% profits on average on the order, right? So if I'm losing 1%, uh, but in in the trade, 
if I make the order, fulfill the order, I'm making 88%, then that's a no-brainer, right? Um, <clears throat> what's the name of this this tracker? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Leo. This program in the background, you mean? Uh, this is something I created myself. Uh, you can you can have it though. It's uh, there's a link right there. Everyone can download it. Uh, I'm proud to say there's way more than a thousand people using this. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. So where were we? Uh, okay, let's go back to uh, go back to this. So here the same. Uh, we're gonna update this uh, this order right here. We accidentally bought out this guy. Uh, but you can see what I mean, right? Here, uh, we're, we're trading in tranquil exotic filaments that you think, ah, nobody's ever going to, um, nobody's ever going to trade in this, but um, people do. Uh, people like running them, apparently. Uh, about 500 are traded each day. Um, 500 traded um, at 400,000. You know, so um, this this actually has, uh, you know, 20, 20 million or so uh, moving uh, enough for us to make a profit on it, especially because there's no competition at all. Now, people, please don't all jump on this. I just op updated this buy order. Let me have it for a few hours more and then you can jump on it. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go back and check later. <laughs> um. What does it mean when the orange dot is on top or the bottom of the gray columns? Why I'm glad you ask. Um, so this this orange dot right here represents the um, the median price on that day. It means that um, at that point half of the volume uh, was above uh, the uh, that price and half the volume was below that price. That means um, that. Um, if it's in the middle of the of the channel, um, the channel meaning uh, the the um, uh, the channel where in the past five days there was uh, trades happening in that uh, price range, uh, that means that you have buy orders being fulfilled and you have sell orders being fulfilled because the price is somewhere in the middle between the highest buy price and the lowest sell price. That is something you want to see because if you don't have buy orders and sell orders fulfilled then you have an item that you cannot trade in you cannot station trade in that item because it's either only being sold to sell orders um uh, or bought from sell orders or only sold to buy orders and then you can't uh, trade in them so for example um you know i don't know no th those are all pretty good <laughs> these are all i need to get out of drones um for example, something like this is terrible, obviously. These all look terrible. Yeah. Oh, those are pretty good. When you're looking for a terrible item and you can't find it. Jesus, okay, we gotta get out of these good items. Jesus, what? I see, I can't pick bad items. There we go, here we go. So this is a terrible trade items, right? Uh, because uh, on... On on 99 out of 100 days, this is only dropped to uh, sold to buy orders because the you can see the, the 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 dot is only at the bottom. So the if the median price is the lowest price paid, you know that nobody on that day sold it to a, a, a bot from a sell order. So you can forget about ever selling this uh, item through a sell order and thereby you don't have a way of selling this item unless the price moves like crazy and that is something you can still consider if the buy price moves like crazy that's the only way you're going to make a profit out of these items right um okay i'm gonna um assume bonsai has taken care of that uh what does it mean when the orange i just answered that maybe we should record the zero to plex segment in advance and release the video a few hours later so we won't undercut even before he buys yeah <laughs> that's okay um you can still have three accounts okay um rado no rado that's um what what i'm saying okay i'm just gonna i can't i can't i can't leave that standing right so um 
if you there's nothing stopping you um from just creating three accounts or a hundred accounts right so just do that whether you put a trader on that account or not is of no consequence right uh, there's there's no there's like you're comparing apples with oranges there's there's you whether you take then the three traders and you put them on the uh, on the on one account or you put them on three different accounts doesn't make a difference what you're saying is it's a good idea to have three accounts and we agree with that there's it's a good idea to have a hundred accounts if you've got the time to click all through, through all of that right so just saying there's no advantage in having them on the same one yes there is of course there is because if you don't want to click through three accounts because clicking through th three accounts means you have to accept three times uh, login rewards you have to you can't use the the log off button right you have to have a skill queue for three you have to ma manage that and now stop saying that time doesn't matter right because if we have one more meme math in here i'm gonna fucking lose it right <laughs> all right um cool um trading we're in jita um we have 22 million and uh we just updated the buy orders um we have uh, some sell orders going not enough for me to fly over to jita to to change that um um that's what that's something that i definitely do on the weekends right on the D, on the weekend i definitely move over to jita and update the sell orders on the alpha account just because um i need stuff to move right on the omega account as i usually say don't touch the sell orders on the alpha accounts definitely do um uh, at least on the weekends to make sure that uh, that stuff is moving so right now with 22 million uh, at the current uh, with with 700 million right now our net worth is 700 million our net worth in jita is about uh 270 million or something right based on that my average trade right now hovers between 10 and 20 million so i'm looking to invest 10 to 20 million in an item so with 22 million there's probably just one item that i will invest in uh, uh out there uh right now um in order to find that item what we uh, what we typically do, um, and you know, I've shown this a few times now, so this is uh, this is going to be boring for for those of you that have uh, seen it already. There's there's two ways of doing that. Uh, one way that I really like, uh, that's the quick and dirty way. If you sort, if you you know now which items are very profitable, so something that you can do is you can just take all of your items that are um, that are the most profitable, and then. Um, and then you can take them over to the quick bar and you can replace your quick bar with your most profitable items and then you can have a, a look through them uh, and see if any of these have a good margin right now or have a good uh, um, spread right um uh, so clicking through here for example these two but we've already traded in these we don't want to trade in them anymore uh that's just an experience uh of not being able to fulfill the orders your experience might differ but i just don't want to trade in them anymore <laughs> uh, here the margin is pretty much gone here the margin is gone um here the margin is pretty much gone i mean it was profitable for a while but we do ha also have a large inventory in these so might not um invest in those here the margin is still good um but i've i've kind of uh, uh didn't i've kind of didn't um um uh i uh i didn't have good experiences with it while it's the third most profitable item in the challenge uh and i've been able to sell most of them uh, it's just been uh, a pain in the ass to uh, get buy orders fulfilled because the competition is so high you can see here this there's about you know almost 20 people updating orders daily so this is a real pain in the ass um um it's it's surprising that the the margin hasn't um 
hasn't been hasn't evaporated that much um you can still make quite good profit on this but um this is um this is somehow still working but not for me it's too much too much work um this margin has evaporated again not great um here we still have a margin um i just updated this um a few minutes ago and then two people came in and um outbid me thanks dudes um <clears throat> here i went out again the the mutoplasmids they are um they're just kind of expensive right now uh, and the competition is uh, even higher than the previous item so so that's kind of difficult um drone tactical limbs they're a cheap uh drone part that you can uh, trade in well in jita but um right now also uh the margin has evaporated too much I'm not even talking about those um here there's a fat finger right here that i but i don't even care about um too too cheap pierce exotic filaments they're at high right now so i mean if they're down here i'd love to buy them uh they're at high right now but with a with a with an okay margin so the buy price right here is three million three million is right here which is a very high price um Although the margin is nice. So if you can if you can quickly turn it around, this might be a very good item. The Fierce Exotics. Might check those out. Um, Fierce Gammas, on the other hand. Yeah, let me catch up with chat. Sorry. Don't want to run away from you guys. Um, uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that. <laughs> okay, what's a fat finger? Um, a um, a fat finger is um. Let's go back. Where was it? Pure Dark. So, do you see this guy? This guy accidentally put a, um, a sell order at the price of the buy order. Um, so this guy, he clicked the wrong button. Um, if, you know, uh, if the, the, the initial, the traditional sense of a fat finger would be if somebody added a zero or subtracted a zero or just uh, slipped off the finger and then hit enter. Um, but I call fat finger everything that is an unintended um, order that got uh, accidentally put in. And in this case, this guy, um, he wanted to put uh, a sell price, but put a buy price. So, um, I mean, we just buy him. So we'll just release him. Um, so, you know, this that's that's what I call a fat figure. <clears throat> Looks more like it doesn't know how to switch to sell immediately when selling than a fat finger. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, oh yeah chainsaw i saw that on discord man i'm really sorry that you lost uh, a bunch of broker broker fees on a on a nine bill instead of 900 mil order that that hurts really sorry um verto i tried public courier contracts instead of push x and it was delivered in a day at like half the cost oh for sure dude absolutely <laughs> I, I've never used I have never used push X in my life and I'm one of the biggest traders in the game. <laughs> um I've made 15 billion on those unintended orders over the last couple of months. Nice dude. Unintended orders happen all the time. If you're selling to buy orders and you run out of quantity at that price, the game converts it to a sell order for you. Yeah, that's true. Also, also true. <clears throat> I don't understand. Uh, Red Frog says I can make this courier contract for 22 million, but PushX is quoting 1.2 billion. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't compare the two. But uh, yeah. I just know that there's public people <coughs> transporting stuff for way too cheap. Um, yeah. These services like PushX or Black Frog only make sense outside of high sec. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the thing. I. I, I um, I use them uh, mainly for um, for high sec, uh, the public uh, courier contracts. 
<clears throat> but yeah, what I do, I mean, you guys know about the uh, the haulers channel, right? So all, all you have to do um, is you... Um, you Can you guys see this? Yeah. I mean, here you just put in the... Um, haulers channel. And the haulers channel, all you do is you create your contract and then you copy paste your contract into there. Um, and a whole bunch of independent um, haulers will, will see it and uh, typically it gets picked up immediately unless you have a very, very terrible price. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, exactly. So Chickenhead, the people picking up those contracts are definitely memafs. Definitely memafs. Uh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, Hollis Channel is a, is a good place to go. Uh, to just you just dump your car. You can drag and drop the car the contract picture into the channel. It's really easy. <laughs> the meme uh, <laughs> the the minerals I mine I free people. <laughs> the minerals I mine are free. Uh, so that's that's basically the people ruining the 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 uh, uh, the action for everyone else. <laughs> So, if somebody is mining the materials, right, and considering them free, and then building uh, something out of it, and then uh, selling for under what it cost to just sell the materials, because they are economic, economically illiterate, right, then that's a me math, and that is my arch enemy. That is, you know, that's me on one end of the spectrum, me math on the other end of the spectrum. And uh, today we established various categories of the me math. Uh, we we established the the mining me math, the industry me math, exactly. And then there's the hauler me math. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think the the stage in between is role players, <laughs> because. There's some role players that will just move shit because they want to role play the whole trucking thing and then they don't really care about the profits, you yeah. Um, yeah. I actually, I mean, uh, I don't know if you guys, uh, uh, I have to get that in here, but I, I did make bumper stickers on the Discord, um, that are, uh, that are, um, the, the hypernet, uh, is, um, attacks on the mathematically challenged that's one of the bumper stickers for sure i i really want to put that on a t-shirt as well <clears throat> okay <laughs> yeah lose a bit on every sale and make it up on volume exactly lincoln you got it that's the way to go all right people Let's get moving on this. Uh, I haven't done any trading. <laughs> um, did we find an item? No, we, we said Fierce Exotics is kind of good. Um, let's keep on going. Baristas, as usual, um, you know, could be good, but it's not. Like, it could be good, but t the competition is too big for the market size. This is a 50% margin, so it's, it's, it's kind of good. Uh, this one used to be good. Uh, until the margin died, <laughs> the medium and ancillary shield booster. This one used to be good. See, th this is another uh, fat finger or fat finger like order. Right here, you see this? The Arbales, and this this could be good. Uh, so this could be a good item um, for 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 two reasons. Because, on the one hand, um, you can make uh, a 20% margin on this uh, pretty pretty easily uh, just by buying it. And on the other hand, this is probably about to turn around in the market, right? So I'm liking this as well. The prototype Arbalest Rapid Missile Launchers. Very, very steady volume. These are awesome. These are an awesome module. Uh, I've used them many times on many ships. Um, and this is the turnaround point. You can see that right here this is the turnaround point it's going to go back to four million so um you know 
this and no competition so that's probably my favorite right now uh no margin okay margin but i just did this oh thanks dudes for uh, fucking bidding me um tranquil electrical nice margin on them love it oh this is good probably gonna do these there's lots of there's a little bit of competition Ooh. okay tranquil so tranquil gamma tranquil filaments overall awesome right now okay so uh what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna pick one of those but i'm gonna do that after the stream just so <laughs> i don't get immediately outbid but all of these are you guys understand why they're great right this is more than 100 percent margin um great distribution rising volume this is just great also fierce exotic great because uh wide margin uh steady volume good distribution so one of those will pick one <clears throat> stay out of your electricals all right sorry hypernet is also a tax on people with a gambling addiction oh man like i think the hypernet is on so many levels the worst thing that ccp has ever done <laughs> right after signal 25 filaments <laughs> you cannot understand their mindset until you carry an almost empty carrier listening to country music across 20 systems <laughs> i get it man i get it I i'm not you know i uh, i am not um i'm not beyond that i get it um what's wrong with the signal I feel that's a bait. Is that a bait? Alien fleet commander? Is that a bait? Do you really not know what's wrong with the signal 25s? It's okay if you don't. It's okay. But we're not gonna do it today. Today I'm not. Today I'm not gonna do that. You. <clears throat> so alien, I. You're just gonna have to watch. Like, I'm. I'm pretty sure there's a clip out there. <laughs> I also A the me maths took it out of me today and B I have no Red Bull so I can't I can't I can't jump on the signal 25 uh, bait um <clears throat> yeah so the signal 25 thing is not on the FAQs um <clears throat> okay so there's a lot of questions on this <laughs> i um i can ex i can explain the one I'll, I'll explain the 30 second version but then please somebody clip it okay so the signal 25s are terrible because they were originally introduced as a purple login reward actually they were before they were introduced as login rewards they were introduced as hey guys this is so awesome uh, everyone uh, uh, you know um uh, everyone loved these so we're introducing them into the game they're gonna have blueprints they're gonna come in like super like amazing uh signal 20 25s and then kind of awesome 15s and then kind of awesome or kind of shitty fives uh, and you guys can all filament yourself into a, a null space and then they acted like they were going to be rare they acted like it was going to be a nice event when actually blueprints were going to drop for signal tents they had this whole concept tiered concept and then they decided to give it away to everyone all the time for login rewards so what what they essentially did was they had a design concept that their designers went up and then marketing came in and was like no no we're gonna give this shit away for free i don't give a shit about your blueprints i don't give a shit about the color purple because this shit is not epic anymore right this shit is now now brown right like shit and then we all have them and now they're and full disclosure oz here invested about eh, let's say 10 billion i don't know possibly more into signal 25s and lost all his money that's just but that's just besides the point <laughs> yeah so that's that's what happens with the signal 25s um yeah 
I am mad. I am mad because it's just like, you know, if if you bring out an item that you say is cool and that you're like, oh, by the way, every 30 days you get you get a cool item, you know, how can you then give it away to everyone all the time? Because that, it's not cool anymore. It's not cool. It's it's worthless. That's like, you know, that's that's like giving. That's almost like. I was gonna compare it to WoW, but then again, you know, everyone has purple items in WoW now, so that doesn't work. Okay, yeah, this is a bit of a rant. Sure. Okay, let's let's go back to trading, guys. Um, I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna put a buy order in there somewhere. On the other hand, let's look at some stuff that we can sell in Do in in Gita right here. Um, so in Gita four four, you can already see. So some of you sometimes ask, so if you put in a, a buy order, if you put in buy orders in uh, in, Gita, in in perimeter instead of Jita, doesn't that like uh, have your, uh, doesn't your stuff land all over the place? Um, yes. Uh, I mean, only like two, three percent does, but uh, that's, this is what, that, this is what it looks like then. I've never picked up any items <laughs> on, on the zero to plex account. So this is what it looks like. I do have shit all over the place. Um... But most of it is here so you can see i've got a lot of um i've got a lot of items here um in uh, in inventory and cheetah that i haven't sold yet and there's there's good reason i explained that on the discord today by the way if you guys aren't on the discord yet then just you know here um tactical breathing that's right um so alien fleet commander i mean right now is a good time to invest in signal 25s of course because right now they're not worth anything so you can you can invest in them i don't know if they will ever recover if you ask me i don't think i don't think they're going to because everyone has more than they will ever use of signal 25s i mean i think i have i have more signal 25s than the whole galaxy will ever use so yeah yeah i'm out of principle i'm not selling them i'm sitting on those out of principle you know i probably i might invest another 10 billion at the current price just to see what happens possibly <clears throat> so yeah i bought my first one at like 35 million <laughs> the i'm playing i'm playing the long game i'm playing the, the long game beyond eve exists and i'm just i'm i'm table topping eve and i'm pretending to myself that signal 25 is recovered that's that's my that's my long game when i'm like i'm when when i'm in an old folks home uh and uh with with bonsai and we're talking do you remember single 25s i do did you hear they went up to 80 million i can finally make a profit now okay i i really don't i don't function without scotch and uh and red bull if you guys haven't noticed um so yeah fierce gammas um i'm not selling those i said this earlier because <laughs> They're at the they're at uh, at a uh, at the very bottom right now, and I'm expecting them to come back up uh, sometime soon. So I'm not selling those. Agitated gammas are just going through the same thing. I'm expecting them. You can see here they're doing the exact same thing they 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 were doing four weeks ago, or six weeks ago. So I'm I'm just waiting for them to turn back around um, before selling them. And again, on the alpha account, it's not like the. It's not like the mid to long term, the buy and hold thing is not something I do on the alpha account, really. Um, it's just, you know, uh, when it's this obvious, I can't, uh, I can't not do it. Um, same thing here, uh, Arbalest rocket launchers. I'm just, you know, it's it's nearing the bottom again. I'm waiting for it to turn around a little bit before I sell them. These are just too too easy, and on these, um, kind of kind of same thing. I will I will sell them eventually when I stop when I'm not able to make any trades anymore I will I will uh, share them so uh, sell them so in the next few days if nothing happens I will definitely sell them you can see that here I'm I mean in a lot of these items I'm guessing they're dropping a lot because of the 90% drop rates uh, that's probably what's happening and so I'm uh, waiting for that to finish tomorrow um yeah. You mean uh, you're sitting on them to sell them when the ESS will come out? <laughs> I, th I, 
I mean, good point, Goofy. I think more people are going to go to no, but I think it's not going to be able to make an even a dent into that market. <laughs> I'm trying to industry uh, stuff. Market stuff was a bit too much for my poor head. Yeah, I mean, uh, markets in uh, in Eve are kind of um, are kind of difficult, you know. Um, but it, that's also because, like, like let's be honest, CCP gives zero fucks about markets right and i am saying this not uh as a bitter vet or i'm saying ooh, you know nobody likes my playstyle. i love it i love the fact that i can have a niche and i can you know have a niche stream and a niche discord and and a great community that you know we were able to if if this was even more popular this whole thing would uh would, would would crash down i'm just saying it's extremely sad um that you you don't ever see ccp bragging about the markets in game because i have played a lot of games i am f hardcore specialized and focused on in-game trading market stuff economic simulations right the EVE sandbox and associated market and market module are fantastic, right? I mean, compare that to Dual Universe that we streamed here with my early access key uh, the other day. Dual Universe, okay? I will rather go to the dentist than go trading in Dual Universe, okay? Um, that's and that's a new game that claims to have like a good market in it right it's absolute shit right it might it might get there it might get there but right now it's absolute shit right um if ccp would actually get out there and you know actually celebrate the trading content that they've made right that people are making then Maybe it'd be a different because they would be attracting different people to the game, um, and you know we 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 we'd have uh, um, another like an, another uh, avenue of uh, uh, into the game and another a new player base and a new player group entering the game uh, because I know what it is. I've been doing this for 15 years and I absolutely love it. Right? It's a fantastic game. It's a fantastic market module, but they're not celebrating. You never see in a video. You ne you never see a a featured stream about it. You never see a a um, it mentioned in any trailer. You, they they hide it. Uh, they hide it. They hide it. They hide it because they are they only want to attract the oh PVP and f and huge fleet combat. I mean, honestly, like people, if if you're sitting. In tie dye for 16 hours. Don't talk. Don't talk to me about tr station trading being boring, man. <laughs> like, don't just don't. You know. Uh, and also, don't talk to me about that being exciting content, right? Because uh, there's at least two views on that, <laughs> at least. But yeah. Okay, rant, rant over. Sorry. Man, this became a this became a ranty episode now. But you know, fuck it. Let's we'll just maybe that's just gin and tonics. Um, I, I actually, I couldn't follow, couldn't follow chat, so let me just catch up on that. Um. Oh god, there's a lot of chat. Um. Thanks, Ipex, for recording that. <laughs> um. Long-term goals is what sandboxes are about. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh. Thor, how do you cope with the constant sell order updates trying to stay near top? Some special people just keep dying. I don't ever sell, uh, I don't ever update sell orders. On the alpha challenge I do, but only once a week. Um, maybe, maybe twice. Um, there's no day traders in the CSM? There's no traders in the CSM at all. I ran for it last time. I, did, I wasn't successful. I will run for it again probably in, in April. And this time, I'm going to be back with a vengeance. I'm, um, trust me. I'm, I, this is, um, I have plans. Um, if you deliver to Jira or small, oh, yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I've heard about Albion uh, online having a good market. 
I haven't I haven't taught that I haven't checked that out. Um You played the X series, has the best most realistic market I've ever seen. Uh I have not. I don't know what the X series is, sorry. Um Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, I'm gonna have to skip some of this chat. Sorry guys. Um too much. Um I was actually updating my market orders during the Delve Keep Star Fight. Yeah. <laughs> Agree they don't feature um it as they should, even the monthly report is quietly posted on the login screen. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So totally agree right now like they uh the the, the monthly market report is is, is uh, freaking amazing <laughs> um yeah okay sorry guys i'm gonna have to skip some of this because it's uh, uh it's it's too much chat and i'm just gonna be end up reading um if 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 you if i totally miss something then can you please post it again uh thank you um On the uh, Aussie, on the other hand, you we are making our money out of clueless PVPers. Yeah, that's right. I would be making a lot less money if we had more traders. Sure. You have my axe for SCSM. Thank you, dude. That comes that coming from Death's hand means a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll we'll have. I mean, uh, I got I got about 400 votes or so um, in the first round last time, and that was without a community. So let's see what we can do with. Um, with a little bit of a community. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm a little bit bitter because I I totally I love um, Torvald is fantastic, right? Uh, Torvald, um, uh, you know, great streamer, love his content. Um, he uh, to to a large part he inspired me to to stream, right? Torvald. Um, but this is the second time. In like a month that ccp does an abyssal stream with him right like have we ever seen uh, ccp ever fo f like feature any trading content ever on any of their twitch channels nope not ever um are the hats still purchasable <laughs> yeah we have a uh i have a, a merch channel this is the merch you can check out the merch there um ccp pr rent yeah i will um once C once csm uh comes uh comes around um we're gonna be pitching some shit um yeah there's chainsaw uh csm without without a community is uh it's basically impossible for sure um yeah, skill farms are the way to victory, <laughs> Leo. For sure. Uh, we have one more one person on the CSM that is market oriented. Yeah, but into industry is not uh, market, right? I mean, industry is like Kenneth felt this null industry that is that is something completely different than market trading, completely different. But yeah. But, you know, probably a fine dude. I don't know. Um, yes, uh, absolutely. We we profit from all the ignorance in the market. <laughs> For sure. Um, yeah, sure. There's a lot of buying and trading involved in industry. But um, uh, the way I see it uh, about about half about half of industrials and eve online are clueless um about economy and are actually um making very dumb decisions all the time and my data uh, supports that <laughs> uh rewind to me industry me maths okay um but um we wanted to sell some shit yeah, so we um, we've seen we've just seen like all of these all of these uh, um, tier one um, modules have just dropped in price, and uh, as I said, I'm guessing it's ninety percent um, related to the ninety uh, it's, it's related to the ninety percent drop rate. Um, there's really not that much we can sell right now. 
these tranquil exotics for sure these are a good idea to sell right now they're they're trading high so we're gonna do that is that the right price damn nice love it jeez my eyes get bad after a few hours this is a this is a big big price look at that um um yeah so that's a that's definitely a good sell right there let's look at the tranquil gamma is that similar no 139 still a good sell price though so we'll de we'll definitely jeez we'll definitely sell this So there we can hopefully make some revenue on the others i'm going to wait um and these are just too too um they're not worth enough for me to put up sell orders so that uh, that actually doesn't make sense there um by the way guys uh we're obviously not gonna hit the the sub goal today so i'm gonna start a giveaway for sure well those two guys that just kept the stream going because they were they were promised giveaways um i see you uh i'm gonna start a giveaway but i hope you don't win <laughs> let's see here um It's going to be 15 minutes, uh, one share, uh, and that share is worth about 117 million ISK. And that is uh, starting right now. Um, look for the... There we go. Exclamation mark raffle to enter the raffle. Um, you can win something. Okay. Um... So we're going, uh, we said, okay, down here, it didn't make any sense. Um, so basically we have open orders that we can't use because we don't have any, uh, oh, we're gonna use one of them on a buy order that I'm gonna put in after the stream, as I said. Um, and um, so that's gonna be, that's gonna have to be it for now. Um, I'm hoping that tomorrow the prices are going to turn around and that we are actually going to make more money out of the price increase tomorrow after the patch than uh, than just uh, by by waiting. Um, okay. Just for for completeness' sake, right? If we were going to buy, oh, actually, let's check another. Let's check one of the other trade accounts. You can see here in NMR we have 36 million. We'll check that out. Um, so here we have seven open orders. That's that's cool too. Um, <clears throat> we are in the shop. So from here we can update the. Um, we can update all the. Uh, the buy orders. That looks good. Fierce exotics. Um, still an okay margin. This is just one out of ten open though, so I'm gonna cancel this. Two, three to three million. That's fine. Um, we'll see if we'll put another another one in there. I'm not sure yet. Fierce gammas. These are trading ridiculously low. I don't know if we can catch one. Last time we couldn't. Hopefully. This one is just too small. I'm also going to I'm also going to delete that cuz it's only 10% of the order left, right? That's not worth it. Here we have 24 out of 100 left. Um Yeah, fine. Let's change that to 106. Okay. <clears throat> 
the sell orders i'm not gonna update because one i'm not in mar and two i just updated them on the weekend so um, i'm just gonna leave them there um, and now we have uh you know 38 million to invest so out here um again what i could be doing is <clears throat> <laughs> all right iron um see you around man um so what i could do is i could do the same thing that i just showed you guys how to do in jita but that would be boring and not useful so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use adam for eve um and then adam for eve um adam for eve dot eu uh if you don't know this tool uh, what we can do is we can go to the margin finder <clears throat> and uh, we can change the region to domain uh, which is the region that amar is in and we want the trade the daily value to be about the daily volume of traded items to be uh, about 50 million um and why do i want this to be 50 million well if i have a if I have an, uh, uh, a net worth of about 200 million in MR, uh, and I split that across 10 items, then that's 20 million per item. Um, and so I want to put in a 20 million buy order. And if you assume that half orders are sell and half are buy, then I want about 25 million. Um, uh, or that, then I want at least 40 million in volume traded and I'm rounding that up to 50 million. So. Uh, that's why I am only looking at items that have a minimum trade volume of, uh, of 50 million ISK. Um, and then right now it's showing all items, which is often not helpful because I think it's randomly cutting shit off. Uh, I don't know what it's looking at. This looks like it's only looking at... No, it's looking at across the board. This might be fine, actually. Let's take this up to 50 and see if we can get some good items. That's not bad. Okay, and what I do then next, um, uh, again, those of you that watch all the time know this, but I I don't look at um, rigs and I don't look at tier two items because those two items are most mostly come from people that manufacture them and they will not sell to buy orders. They will only sell to sell, sell orders. So most of the time, that's uh, something that you're going to get stuck with. <clears throat> Immediately though, <clears throat> calm exotic filaments. Nice. Immediately, calm exotic filaments. One item that we should be looking at. Uh, let's let's check this out in Amar. What's what's going on there? Okay. So we can see here uh, calm exotic filaments. Um, yes, ridiculous margin on them. Um, the volume is about five hundred. So five hundred. Oh, so it's just barely about fifty million. Okay. <clears throat> um yeah you can sometimes uh so uh, commissar you can sometimes find items that are sold to uh, uh to buy orders but in general that's not what should be happening right so i i in general take that category out because i don't want to wa waste time uh scrolling through them because a lot of this is like i'm trying to teach you guys something that you can do in 10 to 15 minutes a day right to me time is the most precious commodity in game and so if i can give you general rules to follow that make you save time then that is what i'm always going to do so in particular in some cases you are right and if you want to spend the time searching through those items you can and yes you can set the station to uh, amar and um uh, and in that uh you can right so commissar it doesn't help anyone if you um just post hey good uh, i made two billion i made five billion this week but that also it depends on how much starting capital you have right most or a lot of people here won't have 100 billion starting capital so they won't have a chance to make the two billion right so i'm trying to give people some um some general rules they can follow you're absolutely correct you can make um you can make uh, uh some uh, money with tier 2 trading absolutely in general people that sell tier 2 items to um uh, uh to 
buy orders are either dumb industrialists or people that are dumping um, loot. Uh, this week, you had a good time doing that. My chance, uh, uh, my, uh, um, my guess would be that this is because we had a 90% drop chance and a lot of people looted tier 2 stuff. But I don't know. Possibly um, you're also um, a fantastic trader. Uh, and, you know, if so, then do uh, tell us your secrets. Um, so, Calm Exotic Filaments, um, great, uh, a great item. I don't really, I don't really, really trust the, um, uh, the spread here. It can be kind of difficult to get rid of them. Although I've traded in this and it's, it has worked quite well for me as well. So this... This is definitely a good early item if you're an alpha trader to to invest in. Um, um, something that is worth looking at. Chart Microsoft. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Um, that is uh, that is salvage, right? Um, so right now there's a good margin on on here, but that's a temporary thing. This is this is an anomaly, so you can you can try to risk it. Um, it's probably not a good use of your time. Um, something like Imperial Navy multi frequency you can look at. Good margin on it right now. This is the um, the. This is what I'm talking about, right? This is people only selling through sellers because this is people um, trading an LP for this item and then taking the item to a trade hub and putting it up for sale. So you're going to have a very, very uh, tough chance getting buy orders fulfilled because nobody is going to want to waste that kind of money, right? So um, again, move on. I'm trying to give you guys some some examples. Oh look, noise 25 needle jacks. Look at those. So this is the this is the um, the drop of hell. And now it's uh, in the mar it's slowly increasing again. <laughs> yeah, um okay, so they're super cheap right now. You can actually, if you day trade these, you can probably make some good money. This is actually not stupid right here. We might do that. I might do do that just for the hell of it. You have a lot of competition though. <laughs> Lots of competition. <clears throat> but um, I might do that later on. That'd be a good idea. Um, what else? Uh, rigs, rigs, rigs. Um... Coercer. The coercer is actually uh, has a good margin right now. This is uh, again LP ammo. Odari, Navy, Nova light missile, similarly. Uh, same thing, right? Uh, it's the same with, with all of this ammo that you trade in for LP. Uh, dots all the way at the top, so you have only people selling it through sell orders. Not gonna be uh, not gonna be fun trading in it. And yes, you can tell me a story of that one time when you made it uh, and you made a lot of money on it for sure. In the long run, uh, I have done this for 15 years. I've collected a lot of data. In the long run. You're going to be better off trading in those items that have the characteristics that I always tell you guys, where you have the orange dots in the middle. In the long run, that's going to be the better use of your time, especially if you don't um, uh, if you don't uh, do it every um, uh, if you don't change your orders all the time. <clears throat> and yeah, and day, day trading is. Um, uh, uh, I'm assuming you define as updating your orders several times a day. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Techno, that's right. If you want to find out more, click here. Um, 
<laughs> I'll put a buy order for 25 cents after the stream. Secretly. Um, but yeah, uh, where are we? This Halcyon equalizer is uh, something that I was already uh, trading in. I really like it. I like this item a lot. This is a fantastic item. This is, this is the one that I would pick right here. I like this. This is uh, barely 50 million traded, but um, it's a good item. I really like it. I'm going to put a buy order in here. I'm just going to ask you guys to be nice here. So. What is this daily volume? 100? I'll pick 50. Happy outbidding. I'll just have to log in later on. Um, but yeah, you basically you get the point, right? This is what this is what we do. Um, 